driving to Benicia and I'm going to stay at this little campground. It's first come first serve. There's only three spots. The open at four is 30 minutes away. Ah, oh, crossing fingers. I get a spot. Hello to my beauties and cuties. My name is Annette and I've been building out my Ram Pro Master 1500 Miss Dita Van Teese since January of 2022. It's a Friday, but it's also the first weekend in March. So it's likely I'll get a spot. So I thought I was closer, but I'm an hour away and I'm about an hour and a half away from home. So maybe I need to second guess this or maybe I'll just go over there. I'll get over there like an hour before it gets dark, 45 minutes before it gets dark. Okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna try it, yeah. And hope I get a spot. If not, then maybe I'll be camping at Walmart. I don't know. Little guy told me I need to see this guy. I knew I saw him before. Yep. Just a statue. So low campsite number two. It's at a state park. So I'm very excited about this one. There was only three spots available. They opened up at four. I got here at 5.15 and there's one spot left in between me and the other guy. So very happy. A quarter of a mile, there's a CVS, a Quiznos, a Mexican joint, a, an Italian joint. So I have food if I want. I have tuna though. Yeah, I didn't get propane. So luckily um, there is a look. I can do charcoal. They won't allow fire, fires. Fires. Excited. Night two. Solo camping. Night two. Benicia. So I'm very happy with this place. It was only 12 bucks. You don't find that close to the big area. So yeah, I looked up on this one. Didn't show dinner. Um, basically, I just had tuna and crackers for dinner. I'm going to get in the groove of this camping thing and I'm going to start using the oven. I did try to get propane. I was going to actually cook tonight actually. I was in a hurry and the only place I went they were out of propane and I just didn't have time because I had to get everything out of my car before it went to the, the scrapper. This is supposed to be like just a relaxing trip. So, and I still have things to do in the van. I have access to this place all day tomorrow. So I may, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I don't know. I'm tired though. So I think I'm just going to, let me go to sleep. I'll catch you in the morning. So this is the view. Hmm. Here's my little heater. Mm. I'm gonna get up. Hopefully it doesn't rain today. I see a ship. So this is my view now. I had to leave at 9 a.m. So I drove down to this little empty parking lot. I'm a single person parked down here. So it looks the marsh in the bay. In Benicia. Yeah. It's a nice little, nice little spot. It will be back. It's 12 bucks. It has a little barbecue. It has trash. There's a porta potty, not that I need that, but you do have to be self-contained so you wouldn't be able to stay without um, having a toilet on board. But this is a nice little place. It's the Benicia Recreational Center, I believe is the name of it. I'll put a link below. So it's sprinkling a little bit, but I'm gonna check this place out. This is have a day pass. I've organized, it's been about an hour. I totally relaxed. Drown to D. 
this is as long as it doesn't come out and get me this is what I'm after in about half an hour I'm gonna go get lunch and then I'm gonna back in right here that's the plan that is the plan as an ICU I can open the doors I even have a little bench out if I wanted to sit out and a barbecue this is The only other thing they have is a Thai place or McDonald's, and I don't want a lot of food. So this is where I stayed. Venetia State Recreation Area. Lunch with a view. It's all about that view. Yep, perfect. Yep, this is what it's all about. Look at those rain clouds though. Yep. Gonna get me some work done. I totally just took a nap over here for like probably half hour. It is so nice. I've been here for like 24 hours. I will definitely come back. If I just want to get away for a day, this will be where I come. This is so nice. I've just relaxed all day. All right, I'm gonna relax for another, about another half hour. Then I'm gonna get to it. It feels unreal that I'm finally here. I have little things left to do, but it's usable now. I got my spot that I wanted. Just took my trash. The leave no trace. See? I got that spot.
I know that you're curious, I know that you're strong. But life can be furious and things can go wrong. You go, you go, we're better off tomorrow. But who knows, who knows if we get joy or sorrow. This is a very nice reset. So with this place, you're allowed to stay for one night. You come in at four. You can come in at four. That's when you can check in. And then you have to leave at 9 a.m. the next morning. But they allow you to go up the road. They open the gate to the park. So that's what I've done today is I've moved to a couple different spots. I went and grabbed lunch like you saw earlier and just chilled. It was raining a good amount earlier, but I just waited it out and now it's perfect. Well, they locked the gate at six o'clock. It's close to five. I'd like to kind of get on the road before it gets dark. At least get on 80 before it gets dark. Yeah, I really enjoyed today and last night. I enjoyed this trip, yes. If anyone has any ideas of where you would like me to go next, put it in the comments. I'm in the Sacramento area, so I plan on going to the coast. In the comments, anywhere in Northern California where I can do like a three-day weekend. Yeah, I'm down to check out different places. I've never been to Mammoth. I've never been to Yosemite. I've never been to Crater Lake. There's so many places that I'm ready to explore. So that's some that I listed. I actually talked to a lady. I had the door open probably a half hour at least. I talked to a lady. Uh, she had a dog named Ginger really pretty dog and she gave me a list I typed them out um on the notes so she gave me a list of places like on the way to Vegas to on BLM land that she has camped at she has a 70 van and she's looking at maybe upgrading so that was pretty interesting having a chat with her I didn't even catch her name but Ginger was her dog's name I think that's about it I'm going to start shutting things down. Everything's pretty much packed and road ready. So I'm going to turn the lights out and put the table where it goes. I think I'm going to get going. My little trip to Benicia. Who knew this little place existed? Actually, I met someone online who lives near Mount Di Diablo in Danville. I told her I would go see her in April, so we'll meet for the first time there. So I think that's what I'll do in April, but yeah, put it in the comments. Anywhere you'd like me to check out, I'm down for it. And not one minute after I said that, the rain comes. So it's definitely time for me to get on the road. Yep. You hear it? starting to come down again you see the dark clouds all right so on that note i'm out look at the rainbow i knew i'd see one with all the rain and the sun and the rain and the sun oh my gosh seen one of those before. Thank you so much for watching and check back next time for more of my adventures. Bye!